Leaving your Mac unprotected is like leaving the front door of your home wide open with a sign that just says, come on in. In the same way that your home holds everything that is important to your life, your Mac contains everything that is important to your digital life, from photos and messages to passwords and bank details. But how is all of that safe on your Mac? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five key ways to make your Mac secure in 2025. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe for more pro Mac tips. Tip number one is to turn on File Vault. File Vault is a built-in feature on your Mac that encrypts your data on your hard drive. And of course, turning it on is a very smart move. So even if someone gets physical access to your Mac, they can't read your data without your login password because of File Vault. So to enable this feature, go to System Settings, Privacy and Security, and then turn on File Vault. Tip number two is to enable malware protection. The firewall on your Mac is one of the first line of defenses to prevent unwanted connections. Whether it's from the internet or nearby devices, it's crucial to have network security, especially when you're using public or shared Wi-Fi. Before I get into its limitations, let me show you how to turn on the firewall. Go to System Settings, Network, Firewall, and then switch it on. The firewall helps block unauthorized access, but it doesn't prevent viruses and malware from entering your computer. The firewall does block against unauthorized access, but it doesn't protect against virus and malware, so it's really important to pair this with a very useful antivirus software. I take cybersecurity very seriously, which is why I use this program called Clean My Mac, which protects me from all the latest malware threats out there. It runs background scans powered by the Advanced Moonlock Engine, a real-time protection technology that detects and neutralizes threats before they can do any damage. Moonlock, named Company of the Week by Hacker Noon, adds an extra layer of security while Clean My Mac handles this cleanup and optimization. So if you want to try Clean My Mac out for yourself, there's a download link in the description box below to start a free trial so that you can run your own full malware scan on your Mac right now. Tip number three, review the list of open known networks on your Mac. So picture this, all right, you're at a cafe and you want to work and you bring your MacBook with you and you notice that your device automatically linked up to the Wi-Fi that is already there. Although it sounds convenient, that does pose a security risk because now your data can be intercepted by someone else. To stay protected, you should review the list of known networks on your device. So go to System Settings, Wi-Fi, Advanced, and remove any known networks you don't recognize or no longer use. A quick review now can save you from major headaches later. If you made it this far into the video, I just want to let you know that I have a bonus tip for you at the end of the video. And if you use a lot of apps on your Mac, well, it's definitely going to be important to know. Tip number four is to set up a lock screen message. If you ever lose your Mac, a lock screen message is a sure and efficient way of letting someone know where to return this device. Maybe you can include an email address or a phone number or maybe a secure location that this nice person who reads this lock screen can follow up with with to return your Mac to you. To set it up, go to System Settings, Lock Screen, turn on Show Messages While Locked, and enter what you want the message to say. Tip number five is all about managing Safari privacy settings. Press Command Comma to launch Safari Preferences and go to Privacy. You'll see an option called Prevent Cross-Site Tracking. This feature blocks trackers from collecting information about your browsing habits. Enabling this will limit how much advertisers can follow you around online. Also, make sure to check the box next to Hide IP Address from Trackers as well. And the bonus tip for this video is to review app permissions. Some apps on your Mac can add ask for more than what they need, and without you even knowing, they could start accessing things like your camera, your microphone, and so on and so forth. So go to System Settings, Privacy and Security, and review which apps have these privileges. If anything looks suspicious or unnecessary, turn off that access. So, which of these tips helped you out the most to secure your Mac in 2025? Let me know down in the comment section below, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment down below, and subscribe for more Pro Mac tips.